episode of Waffle TV. I'm Sean McDonald, and across from me I've got Stuart Black. Stuart, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How doing are you? Well? Yeah, yeah, doing well. Um, so you've been to the Fringe before? Uh, yes, you have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is my tenth Fringe. Tenth. <sighs> tenth. How's it? How's it? Um, doing this year compared to previous years? Well, it's it hasn't really got rolling yet, but I'm excited about this year. Uh, uh, I'm I'm always uh, hopeful that every year is going to be better than the previous one. Last year's was amazing, so I'm, I'm very excited. And then this year you've got your new show, Lem Sip and Cigarettes. Tell us a little bit about that. That's right. Well, if I was to say sex, drugs, and rock and roll, you'd automatically know that's a lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. But like, for me, <laughs> Lem Sip and Cigarettes is pretty much... It's really, uh, it's really all you need. You sort of throw that's you all you need. Into your game, that's all you need. Get some of your vitamins. Stress it's out like yin, a yeah, yin and yang. It's, cigarettes make you ill, lems it makes you better. Boom, you're on a on a straight line. Yeah, very nice. And now you said before your shows were a little more um, narrative driven, but this year you're kind of going back to your original stand up style. Yeah, this is and that's another thing that's really it's quite exciting for me. I, I've I've wanted to do this the last few years to just go back to a much more fluid. Mm -hmm. um, just keep it all natural. Yeah, it's it's in a way it's like um, you know when you see the HBO specials of. of comics in America and they just do you know a series of routines one big routine and yeah, a big yeah. closer and thematically it's all linked because it's all, you know it's, it's about my experience and about things that are going on but yeah it's it's much more uh, relaxed much more fun it's, it, it should be it should be a great laugh that's amazing and now so online you're described as a, a, a comic philosopher so on that note I have to ask so what, what is the meaning of life what would you say the meaning of life is um, I think uh, the meaning of life, there's no meaning what to is life. What is the meaning this of life? Is, I, it's dark, <laughs> you know. I, I, I don't want to go into a dark place. But yeah. the meaning of life is to, is to try and have excellent shoes, at least. Start from Very the ground. That, that's Very it. Important. Start from the ground and yeah. work up. I know. Like, there you go. Look, Look at those. You don't know what you're doing with your life. Is that snake yeah, yeah. skin? No, no, it's it's not snake skin, but it's it's a kind of a pattern leather. <laughs> I was like wicked souls as well. Jeffrey West shoes and Jeffrey Piccadilly. West. I should have uh, some sort of sponsorship with those. <laughs> I know. I've got like twelve pairs of their shoes. Yeah, start from with the shoes and, the, the and shoes. then and then work on work the, the jeans up. and work your way up. Yeah, yeah. By the end, you'll be on track. Nice. And then, so with all a lot of your stand up material, where do you draw your content from? Is it personal? Is it just like? Life lessons. Um, what is it? Yeah, I I I didn't start doing comedy till I was uh, thirty, and I had I hadn't realised it. But when I talk to people, I've had what you'd call like a crazy flamboyant life, <laughs> and uh, people would always say, are, "Are you serious? You did that?" And I'm like, "Yeah." So I I bring that my kind of bring it to the table debauchery yeah, of my yeah. younger years. But also I see stuff on the telly, I see stuff in the news, and I comment on that. And and I kind of like just draw out some of my perverted, filthy get subconscious all, all and mix that all together and then serve yeah. it up. You're like, you didn't leave. Yeah, Take exactly. It. So it makes it, it's a pretty potent mix, but uh, hopefully. Hey, yes, hopefully the audience can't complain. <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I definitely have found over the years a bit, I am a kind of a Marmite. So nobody is ever ambivalent uh, with regards to my show. Nice. So if you want to really see something that you'll remember, yeah. then I'm, I'm your man. Wicked. And then so like as the audience has gone through, what do you, what do you want to take? What do you want them to take out of it at the very end of the day? Um, on a, I want them to uh, have, have laughed their ass off throughout. That's the main thing. Um, Keep the chuckles going. Yeah, but I guess also what one of the best things of people come to me. At, some, there's, there's quite a few people who see me every year, and they they sort of will mention a routine that I did a couple of years ago that has more of a you know a philosophical point yeah, yeah. or something about an approach to life, and they say, oh, I, I remember that, and I, I quote you to people. And uh, obviously it's an egotistical thing, like uh, that's nice, but uh, it, it's uh, it genuinely, uh, that's what I strive to do. Is, is like if you get to the end and you say it was funny, but I can't remember a single yeah. thing he said, but I was, I was, then that would be a disappointing show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to walk away and go, did you, what did you think about what he said about such and such? So I was like, I'm sipping cigarettes, I feel like as soon as I leave, I'll be like, yeah. get yourself some, yeah. get yourself some lem sip and get yourself some cigarettes. It's all fun. Um, do you have any final words of wisdom you want to say to the viewers? 
Um, yeah, come and see my show. That's that will be the wisest thing you can do. It's at 10:15 p.m. Maggie's front room. here. Get involved. Yeah, get involved. Come along. Tell Three your friends. sisters. It's on the the Laughing Horse Free Festival. So you pay at the end what you think it was worth. Uh, you Donations. Tips are accepted. Absolutely. Tips are and tips are very much accepted. Comedic relief as well. Um, thank you for tuning in. Um, I'm Sean McDonald, Stuart. Lovely to have you. Thank you very much. And um, stay tuned for future episodes. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.